it's surprising how subtle these applications are. So example. How many socks do you need to pick blindly if you need one pair of the same color and colors are red, blue, black, white, and yellow. I read a thing the other day saying that colorful socks are the new ties for guys. Like guys are supposed to wear like socks that are like whatever. Like super crazy. Okay. Hmm. What am I asking for? Okay, what would be, I'm asking for how many socks? Two. Two. Two socks of the same color, right? Now, random chance, you could, you're picking blind, I could pick white and then white. I got a pair, but I walk out with two, right? But then all of a sudden, I look, I then look, and it's like, no, 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 that's black and red, that's not a pair. So how do I apply the pigeonhole principle? Pigeonhole principle is, what do you believe the boxes are? Not pairs. Not pairs. What, what would uniquely determine the stuff that you have? The color. color. Right? So you can imagine that, the, that the, uh, the box, the drawers, are just simply colors. Right? So what am I asked to do? If I want a pair of one color and I don't care what color, What do I need? I need one more sock than there are colors because that guarantees you that at least one color will have two or more socks. Does that make sense? So we go through here and we say that the box is going to be defined as color and there are five and now the socks are our, sorry, the objects are the socks. And so the task is pick to pick blindly you need one pair. One pair is means two socks of same color. And so by the pigeonhole principle, if we have, if the socks, if the number of socks is greater than or equal to number of colors plus one, right? I suppose I can get rid of the equal, then I don't even need the plus one. If you have more socks than colors, and so what is that, what do I have to have? That implies at least one color has at least two socks. That's a direct application of the pigeonhole principle. More objects than boxes, at least one box has two or more objects. You have a pair. And so what's the answer? Six. Now, is it randomly possible that you pulled out six white socks and you have three pair? Yes, but we're always asking, what's the worst thing that you could have done? I picked a red, a blue, a black, a yellow, a white. Then it doesn't matter which next, so the sixth sock is going to be one of those colors, and I'm going to get a pair. Now, there are problems that look like a pigeonhole principle problem, but are not. For example, a not pigeonhole principle problem. That looks like one. 
let's say same as above, I had, or were they? Red, blue, black. So we have, say, we have three red socks. We have five blue socks. We have seven black socks. We have five white socks. And we have 11 yellow socks. Don't you like how they're all odd? Socks are always odd. You always lose one, right? I have no idea what each pair of socks. They always eat one, and you always have an odd number. I've seen a gift where, hmm? I've seen a gift where you see the sock fall out of the dryer somewhere yeah. and into the empty space between the door and the, the roller. That'd be a fire hazard if there was an empty space. <laughs> well, if you look at it, it's mostly empty. Yeah, underneath. Have you ever tore one apart? Indeed. They're fun to fix. It's amazing how simple dryers are and as expensive as they are. Anyways, uh, how many how many socks to pick blindly to get a red pair? Like, well, that seems like it's, I mean, the other one says how many to pick blindly to get a pair. It seems like a pigeonhole principle problem, but we take a time out and say, well, wait a second. What's the worst? If I was going to do this, what's the worst thing that would happen to you if you needed a red pair and you were picking blindly? What would happen? You got all the other socks, right? The red stuffed back in the corner and you didn't know that. And so we look at this and it seems like a pigeonhole principle problem and it's not. I get all of the other socks and pairs except for red, until all those have been possibly used up, right? And so this problem is not a pigeonhole principle problem. It's, it's essentially just a, I handled everything else until red's all that's left. It's an exhaustion problem, right? We exhaust all colors but red, and now I'm finally red. That's the only way to guarantee that you get a red. So it's kind of a worst case scenario. Worst case is what happens? You pick how many? Five, seven, five, and 11, right? Which is 10 plus 28, which is 38 of the non-red. And then how many socks do I need? Then if that happens, all that's left is red. So how many socks do I need? Then I get the two red. Do I, do I not count? 28 arithmetic no good so what do we need 30 it's that whole don't wake up your wife thing right no if I had to get up today and start grading at 4 a.m. it's like yeah my wife doesn't want that it's like, don't wake me up so you're sitting there and keep all the lights off and you start grabbing things just take the whole drawer and go to a place where you can turn the light off and then you can pick what you want. Everybody okay with that? Seen pigeonhole principle? It's not. Let's do a fun one. All right. How about this? 